What's up, everybody? Little Big Robots. Toy Depot back today. You know I had to get um, the orcs, didn't you? This is Warhammer uh, McFarland Toys, Warhammer 47. Seven inch scale, standard seven inch kind of, I guess. Orc Mega Knob with Buzzsaw. I also reviewed the earlier orc. And I also have, what's the other one I have here? This is the Orc Mega Knob with Shuda. So I get, this guy has a buzzsaw arm, buzzsaw arms, and the other one has a big gun. And the first one I reviewed has like a giant, it looks like a little grabby arm. So I'll, I'll link to, in the description will be the playlist with all my Warhammer 40k um, items. If you want to go see all those reviews of all of them. I pretty much caught up. Let me get this open. It's going to be noisy, so I'm going to pause this. Okay, so, taken out of the package, I'm going to do you a quick comparison to just a standard. This is the Reaver Marine. So you can see they're not massively taller, about the same height, but they have just a ton more bulk. I mean, he's twice his width, his arms alone, um, as with the first one. They're about the same height. Um, it, it will have a couple of little interesting... If you move the arm here, you get a little piston kind of action. Just a basic one, nothing, nothing fancy. I like that uh, McFarland added that in there. Just, I can't. It's been, this is kind of loose. This is interesting. It, this is really loose for some reason. That's that's not normal for McFarland. Normally, this is going to be nice and tight like it. But look, I bet I could even. Yeah, see, it's going to start falling. That's really unusual. I've never had that happen before in a McFarland toys. Their quality control is usually pretty good from my experience. Um, but it's a cool looking. Fig. As with the last one, you get a little bit of a toe crunch, you get some basic movement in the legs, but really these guys are so huge that you're going to need to just kind of put them in position and leave them alone. Let's put his backpack on. They all have this kind of different style of a tall backpack on the back, so that adds to the kind of the height. Height, I'm sorry. And then this guy, what is this? Is this his jaw? I think, yeah, cool, look at this. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. So he's got his like, um, He's kind of like his Terminator armor on, but being an orc, it's just all, you know, gross and beat up. But this is really bent. This might take a minute to get that in there. Come on now. Let's just leave it like that. Yeah, that's not too bad. The teeth are too white. As with McFarlane, usually you get, always, almost, you get a really cool looking figure, but you don't always get the most amazing paint jobs. In this case, you get a kind of a, a, a metallic dry, dry erase, dry erase, um, dry brush. You get a little bit of a wash, so you get some details usually, they're pretty cool. But then you get like these bits like this that'll be so kind of um, clean that they're really just begging for some, for, for a wash, for some, you know, some paint or whatever. The mouth is a bit wet looking, which is cool. Well, you know, it's a different kind of paint that they're using everywhere else. To, as you can see, the, the details are always really nice in the sculpts for McFarlane. Um, you can move his head a little bit. I don't know if these guys will come apart easily like these. In the, you know, for a good, in a good way. They're nice and stiff when they're together, but if you need to take them apart, you can for repainting and stuff, washing or whatever. So I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. This arm here being so loose is making me wonder. Usually they just kind of pop out, but I'm a little bit worried about that. That is that is just so unusual for a McFarland toy, at least this line. Um, but typically you just get these big dumb feet. What's funny about it, in this package you get one of these little tiny uh, stands here which you get with every every Warhammer toy. And these are almost small enough to be a base for like a game piece in the actual 40 <laughs> So you stick it in this little, little you know, hole here and that's all they want, you, you know, it's just, it's kind of ridiculous. But you get um, a, a, fi a figure that will pretty much, I haven't put them up yet, but let's see here, pretty much stand on his own. Let's see if I can get him to stand up. Squeeze his legs, his feet a little bit. Uh, his feet are pretty tight. <sighs> See what I'm trying to do is get this to go down a bit. There we go. Yeah, that's that's a that's a tight fit right there. Let's just do it like that for now. But usually they're they're sturdy enough, the Marines and everybody that they sit on your shelf and they'll take a little bit of a shake. It won't just fall over. So these stands are not always necessary. They are on uh, the Sisters of Battle and some of the other ones, but in general the Warhammer figures just stand. Stand up just fine. Um, he's you know heavy, nice and heavy. These details are really nice. I wish these spun, like actually moved. That would be cool. And you can see his arm does not go out that far. 
So you're kind of stuck to really, you know, straight on or bent just slightly, which is cool. And it's such a bulky figure, you'd expect that. You know, it's supposed to look kind of ridiculously bulky. But so there's not too much you'd want to do to it paint-wise. It, it it holds up on its own okay. But if you put this thing on, you're gonna to want to wash these teeth, make them look nice and dirty, maybe a little bloody or something. Any metallics, you know, anywhere that you can bring up these details, I would recommend it. So it's kind of nice that they have a basic paint job on there. So when you set it on the shelf, it just kind of looks cool. You know, if you do a little battle scene or sit next to the other Marines or whatever. But as soon as you start messing with it and playing with it and stuff, the waist just turns all the way around, so that's cool. Um, you start to look at the details and you're like, man, I would really like to see like his face pop out more. All those details in his in his face, if they were just a little bit of a wash, it would just pop out. The mouth is done really nice. I like this kind of wet paint they look. But like these little metal bits, you really can't tell they're metallic that well. You need to have a little wash done on there. So it's it's kind of this weird um, uh, meeting of like really good sculpt, the sculpts are always good, with some cool paint and some washing, but not enough in the areas you want, like here, face, the arms maybe. So it's weird. I, they, I imagine this is all a cost saving, um, you know, design where they don't want to have people, you know, spending so much time hand painting stuff because that just adds up so much money. So, you know, you get this figure for what, this was 40? I think they've all been around 35, 40. And I've got all three of these guys. These are around 20 a piece. So, you know, they're they're an affordable line for the size you get. They're just a big, fun, bulky line that'll probably last years just because of the way they're at, but the way they're built. But like all these details need to come out. Put a wash on that. The cool thing is you can just take that off. Hold it, you know, wash it by hand real easy. You can even maybe put a little, that's a smokestack, okay? So you probably put like a nice uh, iridescent effect on the hot metal. So, you know, it's a cool, it's, they're, they're very cool. They're, they're not bad at all. So far, the orcs don't really stand out from each other. They're all kind of like this same design with just different weapons. I'd like to see a standard orc outside of the armor, just kind of a normal orc, or maybe even some of the little goblins and stuff they have running alongside them. But pretty cool, nice and heavy. You can feel that. Ooh, not bad. Can this guy kick his butt? I think so. There's a good chance there. Take it easy, everybody. Um, if you want to see the rest of my videos, um, for this line, I'll have a subscription, a subscription, a playlist in the description. And if you can, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 4,000 by the end of the year. I think I can do it. Not bad. More goodness. What are you going to do, man? Have a battle. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.